guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Ranger Workshop, the new series where you'll find daily knowledge and experiences of the 32nd Ranger Battalion. I'm Sergeant First Class Kane Shields, and today I'll be walking you through on how to download and install our mod pack. So let's get started. After being accepted to the 32nd Ranger Battalion, you'll have access to our forms. Simply go to our forms, make sure you're signed in, go under announcements, and you'll see pin guide to how to use Arma 3 Sync. Simply click on that, and you'll be brought to this. This is our guide on how to use our Armor 3 Sync and how to download and install our mod pack. You must first obtain Armor 3 Sync, so click the link to Armor 3 Sync on Armor Hawk, and you'll scroll down to the bottom and click Download Armor 3 Sync. Once it has finished downloading, you will simply open the zip file and install it. Now that it has finished downloading, You'll simply open it with either 7-Zip or WinRAR, and you'll be prompted with this EXE. Simply double-click it, and it will begin, and it'll pop up an installer. Yes. Click Next here. Uh, I accept the agreement. Next. Next. Uh, if you want to, create a Start Menu folder. I usually don't. Next, uh, create a desktop icon. Yes. Next, then click install. I'm not since I already have it. We will then need to obtain our FTP. So I'm going to copy that. Once Arma, I'm going to open up Arma 3 Sync and I'm going to have these six tabs up here on the top. I'm going to click repositories. I'm going to click the blue plus sign and paste my public auto config URL, which is the link I just copied from the guide. I'm going to click import. It will pop up the repository name, the host URL. I'm going to click OK. It's going to synchronize with the repositories. And I'm going to come up here, click the mod pack name. I'm going to click this last button that says connect to repository. I'm going to connect to the repository and it's going to check for add-ons. Alright, once your once your ARM3 sync has finished checking for add-ons, you will be prompted with all our mods. You'll simply click select all. And you're going to go to your settings here, and you're going to set your maximum number of connections to 10. Leave all this as it is. Click OK. Then click the Start button. Download will be finished, and it will check for add-ons again. And it will begin to synchronize your add-on groups. Now you will simply go over to the add-ons group, go to your mod sets, and it will synchronize your mod sets. Uh, this process usually does take a while. So I will be back once it has finished doing that. Alright, after it's done synchronizing your mod sets, it will pop up your add-on groups here. Simply check mark the 30 second mod pack. Click OK. You will then come over here and check mark the 30 second mod pack in the add-ons group. And it will activate all your mods that you have downloaded for the 30 second mod pack. So once you start your game, it will launch you, your game with your mods that you have activated that are check marked. I hope you found this tutorial very helpful. If you have any questions or any comments and you would like help with anything, simply join TeamSpeak and join our requesting IT support under our administrative offices and it will poke any of our IT guys to help you. So this has been Sergeant First Class Caden Shields of the 32nd Ranger Battalion, signing out. Thank you.